Chapter 21, Episode 12 Sally and Billy had been tracking their targets. Billy was becoming a master of killer mini drone building and flying. He had a program on a smart device that looked like a game. He called it Shiva the Diva. He commanded his drones with, that, with the game. The programming had been hard work. Billy always got as much help as he just needed on anything he decided to do from people he had yet to meet, somewhere in the company. Some would be in Zurich when he got there. He used a basic design for all his mini drones and adapted them to his needs. The STD 2.1 is a surveillance drone. It was the biggest and quickest to make. STD 3.36 is a single bullet attack drone. And the super mini drone about the size of a fat mosquito. It was not bad for surveillance and high security zones, but it was mostly very good for delivering poisons in believed to be secure areas. Sally needed only a knife for the next target. She attended an art opening. The attraction was that there was some masterworks from famous dead artists that had been in private possessions for centuries. Security was high in the gallery. Sally and had Billy dye her hair black again. She had her makeup so that she looked about 40 trying to look younger. Her short skirt was to draw attention to her legs, a push-up bra in case legs weren't enough, and a big beautiful white hat so cameras couldn't catch her eyes. It was a relatively high risk to kill at an open function, but Sally would not force the kill. If an opportunity didn't happen, they would find another way. The event was crowded. Some visitors took a short walk in the garden for a bit of fresh air or a cigarette. The garden was so beautiful that it compelled the visitors to wander in it. There was a little river and ponds. There was some beautiful fish like the one so often a tattoo theme. Koya also symbolized something. Billy had sit, but Sally had not cared. They were pretty and swam around the pond making it pleasant to look at. Sally thought it was a little strange. She didn't think she liked the fish. They looked too indigestible. Larry Greenstein was captivated by the fish. They were all watching him and it looked like they were trying to yell at him. They weren't warning him that he was about to join them. They didn't see it coming. Larry Greenstein was paralyzed and didn't even feel anything after the initial shock circuit break. He did notice he was falling. The fish had stopped yelling and had started to run away. Sally pushed him gently so that he dove into the fish pond. There he drowned. She dropped the ceramic knife in a little river where it would be lost in the silt and would remain for many years. She wandered back to the gallery to have a look at some paintings, then went back to the Shangri-La. She half looked up under her hat to say hello to Billy's drones, his last killer bees, for Sally's protection.